What up, what up, what up? What's going on, guys? Your boy GS. First and foremost, the Mutt Channel is live. You see on the top the address bar. That is correct. Subscribe to my Mutt's only channel, youtube.com slash Mr. Golden Mutt. And uh, go on ahead and subscribe to that channel. I will be uploading only Mutt to that channel. And definitely go on ahead and subscribe if you guys are into Mutt. Because a lot of you guys have been hounding me for years about doing some mutt. So I, I finally gave in. That's it. You guys want mutt? You guys are going to get mutt. So go on ahead. Subscribe to Mr. Golden Mutt. There should be an annotation on your screen. Also, um, a link will be in the description. Again, just type in YouTube.com slash Mr. Golden Mutt. Where I will be uploading mutt on the daily for you guys. So, uh Hopefully, if I don't get it today, if I don't get it started today, I will get it started tomorrow for sure. And from then on, it's, it's going to be daily. So, hope you guys enjoy. You know what I mean? Um, before I get into the gameplay, let me explain why I, I never really got into Mutt. Because Madden 13 really turned me off of Mutt due to the fact that I, I was playing Scrubs. I was playing Scrubs and losing. Because they had five four-star dick lanes and I had... Nothing but, you know, 67 overall Deshaun Jacksons. And, and, you know, they were just playing man to man. And my guys couldn't do anything. And it was atrocious. It sucked playing guys that you knew had no skill. They just relied on their monstrous bought team that they spent money on. And, and it's frustrating. And I didn't like it. But everybody so far this year is like it's completely different. You can't have an overwhelming, you know, five star everybody team anymore. So that's not the case anymore. So um, we're going to go on ahead and get that going for you guys. Uh, soon, so subscribe to Mr. Golden Mud. So, to the gameplay, we have the lines as we score our first touchdown to Megatron right there going up against the San Francisco 49ers. And you know, uh, the Lions, you know, are very Megatron ish. <laughs> That's all I want to give the ball to, man. I don't, I don't know how people can play with the Lions and want to pass to somebody else. All I want to do is give it to Megatron, man. It's it's addicting, it's addicting when you play with all oh, right there. Look at my boy. Dumb is coming through with the user intercept. Well, not user, but he used it. I mean, the computer interception right there. Putting us in great territory to hopefully be able to go up 14 to 0. So, second and two on the three yard line right here. We try a really quick wheel route right there, but it gets batted down. Third and two, we try a really quick read option, and we get no yards. So, on fourth and two, we decide to take our three. You know what I mean? I know I'm going up against the very tough defense, and, you know, points can be tough to score against this team. So, I'm going to take what they give me. So, right now, we have a multiple possession lead. And we are now up 10-0. to And, you know, the 49ers, as dominating as they are on defense, definitely got some playmakers on offense. Like, look at Franklin Gore breaking tackles in the backfield and just going off. He is definitely in there with the son of a glitches that are in this game, such as DeMarco Murray, Darren McFadden, and, you know, the guys that play way better in the game than they do real life. And Frank Gore is one of those guys. Who plays way better in Madden than he does in real life. Uh, right here. Hits me with a play action. He goes over. Ah, oh, we drop an interception. Right here on fourth and 17. He decides to punt the ball at about midfield. So, you know, definitely got to give, uh, you know, respect to any opponent who does that. Thought about taking it out, but then we decided to. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just back it up. Back it on up. Back it up. <laughs> right here. We try to go over the middle, but that was an incomplete pass. You know, as always, I, I generally don't like running the ball against the 49ers. They just hit too hard. Right there, we hit him with the skinny. I can count on one hit how many times I didn't, uh, did the skinny successfully. Right there, hits up, boom, boom. And we recovered. I'm like, of course. Of course, we would get set. I don't even care about the sack, man, but we fumble, and he recovers. Not only that, he's really close to the end zone. Hits me with a nice screen pass right there to Frank Gore, and he gets within the 10-yard line right there. So hopefully we can hold him to a field goal, but, I mean, that's tough. Look at Frank Gore getting an extra three yards after first contact. Another handoff, we stop him at the one-yard line. So third and goal right here, he decides to go for a fullback down. We stop him. Fourth and goal, he decides to go for him. You guys know I got that that uh, that QB sneak, Krabby Patty. I know how to stop me a QB sneak, but I thought because of that stuff on third down that he was going to do maybe a toss. So I ran commit to the right. If I ran commit downward, I felt like I would have stopped it. But nonetheless, he scored. So right now, pressure's back on me to try and get something going. You know, one of the few times you'll see me running the ball because, uh, again, dumb 49ers linebackers don't play around. Right here, we hit him with the bubble. And we end up getting my boy Calvin Johnson just a couple yards. And as you can see, Matthew Stafford being very accurate 
Uh, the counters don't do justice so far in the next gen consoles, man. I always get just tackled like immediately by somebody. So fourth and ten, uh, right here we're looking and we go to a quick out route and we end up picking up the first down right there. So right here we're looking and anybody might ask, well, why would you go for it on fourth down? Your opponent punted, yeah, but he was like fourth and twenty. If I was fourth and twenty, I would have punted. 10, 10 yards, I, I took a shot and I got it. So second and seven right here, we end up going really quickly to Calvin. And I'm always looking for Calvin. Calvin had a hell of a game. Because all I did was throw to Calvin. You see, third down, throw to Calvin. Even on handoffs, I'm looking for Calvin. No matter what it is I'm doing, I'm looking for Calvin. I'm, when we're on defense, I'm like, where's Calvin? I need Calvin on the field. I'm thinking about just laying the 49 to score just so I can get Calvin back on the field. Right there, he catches me off guard with a you know, nice little man-to-man -man play. Third and one right here. We try a read option, and we end up picking up the first down. As you see, the uh, quarter is coming close to an end. So hopefully we can get in the end zone. We got two timeouts left. First and go. Another play right there gets us within the five-yard line. Second and go. We were going to go to wide receiver screen, but that was shut down. So we're forced to use our last timeout, and we kick a field goal. So we will go into the half 13-7. to seven. And, uh, well, he has a couple seconds left. Hopefully he doesn't return this, but... Um, you know, we're up 13 to 7 and could have done better. You know what I mean? We stalled out on really close to the end zone, but nonetheless, we do have a lead. You know what I mean? Can't complain about winning the ball game at this point. So, you know, here we go back on defense. And so far, you know, we've been doing okay. You know, only gave up seven yards on um, seven points, I should say. You know, Frank Gore has been doing this. Frank Gore has been running pretty well. And, you know, this is by far the most uh, effectiveness somebody's had running the ball against me. Right there, we end up sending a blitz, and we get a huge sack, forcing a second and long. And then we get another sack right there. Now it's third and forever. So he's standing in a pocket, and right there, we uh, end up getting another sack. So back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back sacks, forcing a fourth and 30, and he punts the ball. So right now, we just got one objective, and that's get into field goal range. That is going to give us a multiple possession lead, though, so we can go on ahead and you know give us that padded you know that padded you know just nice padding of of a score you know what i mean just nice little separation in the score knowing that even if he scores and go for two doesn't matter we still have the lead so that's the one objective try and kill some clock you know try and keep the ball away from him move the ball productively give the ball to calvin johnson as much as possible and hopefully more importantly get ourselves into field goal range so here we go right here but we take a huge sack so we really need this third down right here. We roll outside the pocket. We're looking and we try to go to the skinny, but it looks like Calvin might have dropped it. Maybe it was batted down. I don't know. So right here, because I am not near midfield, I feel like, you know what? Let's just play it safe. Let's punt the ball. I don't want to put him that close to the end zone in case I get stopped because I'm not really confident in being able to get it. So we end up punting the ball. So right now, 13 to 7. And if anybody questions, well, last time you were confident, 4 to 10. Well, that's because I wasn't near my end zone. <laughs> so, right here, beautiful touch pad. Just put it right in the bread basket. Get stopped at the 32-yard line. Uh, quick run to the outside. Thankfully, we ended up stopping that because that could have gotten ugly. So, uh, here we go. We send a blitz, and we get another sack. We're absolutely destroying him right up that A-gap right here. We send a little bit of edge pressure, and we end up getting to him, forcing a fourth down. He decides to kick the field goal, and we all know that 49ers kicker does not have a strong leg, so he misses. And starts off starts us off at midfield, which is huge. So one uh, comeback route to Calvin Johnson, really quick whip route to Reggie Bush, and now we are in field goal range in the fourth quarter, already up six points. So uh, again, a field goal is all we need. All we need to do is get in to, um, you know, why would I say get into better position? We are already in great position. All we gotta do is kill some clock at this point, you know, and just ensure us. Uh, uh, scoring opportunity you know what i mean if we don't get the touchdown that's cool we're fine with that you know what i mean we're not really looking to score a touchdown we're just looking to kill some clock and you know hopefully just kick this field goal worst case scenario oh don't get me wrong if the touchdown is there i will take it i will take the touchdown don't get me wrong so we bring it all the way down to the two minute warning after actually no he calls the timeout i'm sorry right here we go for the screenplay we got reggie bush and we could have scored but we're like nope 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 we're gonna waste a little bit more time waste a little bit more time or, or uh you're gonna call it timeout something's got to give he ends up allowing us to waste 30 seconds, and then we score the touchdown anyways. So now we're up 20 to 7, and, you know, at this point, I really feel like game is possibly over. You know, he's only scored 7 points, and that was due to the fact that after a fumble, he was already really close to the end zone. So, you know, our defense has been playing pretty well. You know what I mean? We've been playing good coverage, not allowing him to really 
get too crazy on us right there. I don't know how the hell he completed that, but he does. You know, uh, he's running the ball a little effectively. But, uh, you know, besides that, every time he's been trying to pass, you know, we've had the passing game on lock for the most part. Right here, he rolls out, and we end up swatting that down. So right here was a big play. You know, he still has a chance. Oh, dropped the use of interception. He still has an opportunity. You know what I mean? I've seen crazy things happen, but on fourth down, we cause an incompletion right there. And, you know, we are already close to the end zone. So uh, I should have ran the ball. You know, we should be killing clock at this point. But I figured he's going to maybe run, come in expecting some runs. Right there's a big heavy sack over there on the right side. One minute remaining, just a quick uh, pass to Pettigrew. You know, and he has one timeout remaining, which he does call up. So we have Akers who has a very strong leg. We kick a field goal. And, you know, now he, he's going to need a only a miracle. Only a miracle could save him at this point. He would need a Hail Mary, recovering onside. Hail Mary, recovering onside. He's, he's going to need a lot. He's going to need a lot to go his way. So the uh, game is pretty much over at this point. And, you know, so far, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm getting, uh, you know, a little better on, on offense passing-wise. You know, I, I definitely feeling confident being able to move the ball passing you know not as confident as i would like to be but i i definitely know that i'm progressing uh i still have to work on a run game you know what i mean i still have to figure out what runs I, I need to be able to do to help me you know um move the ball productively i, I haven't gotten a, a game where i've ran over 100 yards yet and on ps3 i was averaging I believe like 115 yards running. Now I'm averaging like 70. So that's a big drop off. 50 yards a game rushing, you know, that that's, you know, allowing me to kill some clock. That's allowing me to, you know, just control the pace of the game. So uh, right now I need to work on a run game and, you know, hopefully, you know, we can do that in the near future. That's the end of the game, guys. Don't forget, subscribe to Mr. Golden Mutt. I'm out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.